It is the call to have Kenyan cases at the Hague-based court returned home and be tried locally, and ICC prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda speaks out. Her response, she stands ready to engage in any legal debate regarding the ongoing Kenyan cases. The Office of the Prosecutor reiterates its readiness to work with the AU, but maintains that the only means to attain justice for victims of atrocious crimes is through judicial channels and not political bodies or the media. The African Union's resolution to have the Kenyan cases returned to Kenya and be tried locally came with the threat to withdraw en masse from the Rome Statute and thus the international criminal justice system. The ICC presidency, however, reminds the continent that the majority of the court's current investigations were initiated after referrals or requests from their mother countries. This comes as the trial chamber responsible for Deputy President Ruto and radio journalist Sang's case has given the Kenyan government 10 days to respond to Bensuda's submissions on the government's cooperation with the ICC. The government raises six specific matters that it says constitute misrepresentation of facts. First, that the prosecutor alleges that some public officials have fostered an anti-ICC climate in the country. Second, that the Mutara defense was able to use minutes that the prosecution had been denied access to. That the office of the prosecutor's staff members have not been allowed unfettered access into and within Kenya and have been subject to government surveillance. That the prosecutor's request for financial data of the accused and specific highly confidential requests that cannot be placed on open tiling and interviews with 10 police officers, a matter currently before the Kenyan courts, and finally, incomplete material from the Kenyan government to the prosecutor on certain occasions. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.